This video is for people whose monitor switch on their microwave, for me it's a GE microwave, keeps breaking, it keeps fusing together. When this happens, it may even trip your circuit breaker in your house, requiring you to reset your circuit breaker and buy a new switch or fix this switch in your microwave. There's already a fantastic video out there by Sam called Microwave Keeps Tripping Breaker, here's why, that explains how to replace this switch once if it's broken and causing your circuit breaker to flip. However, I followed his video, replaced the switch, and within a day or two, the switch broke again, fused together again, tripped my circuit breaker again, requiring me to replace the switch a second time. And then this one broke. So something was fundamentally wrong that was causing this switch to fuse together over and over again. There's a second video by C. Silba that explains why this is happening, and he gives you a fantastic tip on how to open the door. You actually need to pull near the top of the handle rather than the bottom to keep the door from twisting, which can cause two of the switches to be triggered non-simultaneously, and that's really what causes the monitor switch to fuse together and break. So the purpose of my video is to show a trick to make a very simple modification and shim out the bottom switch so that when opening the door, the switch is released slightly later. Check out how when I close the door, the door latch pushes this monitor switch backwards in its holder. There's simply too much play in the position of this switch as it seats in the holder. So what we need to do is put a thin shim on the back side of it to hold the switch forward, engaging with the door latch. I just cut out a piece of cardboard, like from a cereal box or something, and when I installed the switch, I stuffed this cardboard in on the back side, which just pushes it forward enough to stay engaged with the door latch longer. And since I've made this tiny cheap adjustment, my microwave has worked fine for about three weeks now with no more issues.